Late Night Health continues. By the way, you can now listen to Late Night Health on your mobile device, iPads, iPhones, Android stuff, all that thing. Uh, just go to LateNightHealth.com to find out how. Our guest is Jim Lavelle. Uh, we are talking to Jim. He is the author of Your Blood Never Lies. He gave me a blood test a few weeks ago, and I guess I'm I'm living. During our break, uh, to uh, avoid the sad disorder, seasonal affective disorder, uh, the insane Daryl Wayne and I have been cuddling. Not really. Back, no, no? <laughs> no back, not really. Not, back to back, no? No we cuddling. Get, uh, no cuddling, okay. <laughs> three feet at best between me and him and me. All right. Um, pat on the back. The pat on the back. Does that work? Uh, Did, uh, sure, why not? If it's, a, if it's a kind pat, why not? Okay, good. <laughs> we were talking about, you know, uh, I guess blue light uh, is what we have in sunlight, okay? Uh, but d- uh, electronic devices like iPads and, and iPhones do not, or, or also have blue light. Does That's this right. affect our sleep? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, there's people that are sensitive to blue light, and it will keep them up. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, you know, you know your brain, you know, like it's, it's real easy. But, you know, your brain is supposed to be wide awake in a day, and then it's supposed to lose its arousal in the night. And so if you're on your emails and you're on texting and you're on your Instagram and you're on Facebook and you're reading on your iPad when you're laying in bed and you're noticing your sleep is disturbed, it could well be because of the blue light. So, wow. you know, you, you basically, you know, what I tell people is, look, an hour before, stop that. And if you're having trouble with sleep, you could consider something like melatonin. Uh, because that'll reset your body's uh, nighttime signal that it's time to shut down. And why that's important is that your neurons fill up all their little chemical buckets in the night. And, and that's why you need a net restful night's sleep. Now, what's interesting, seasonal affective disorder, people make too much melatonin. They want to sleep more. And then... You know, and, and so what, what I tell them is, you know, open up your blinds, let the sunlight hit you in the morning. Think with the sunlight, because that'll shut your melatonin down and tell your body it's time to wake up. And, and you know, so it's, it's a little interesting because that is a different problem than people that end up, you know, you know, staying up too late, keeping their TV on and, you know, in the uh, bedroom, those right. kind of things. But, uh, at the but it same, all relates to brain chemistry. But at the same time, Jim, don't we have uh, most people don't get enough sleep? I mean, now they're saying eight to, what, nine hours? I don't get anywhere near that. I get Well, that. yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean the, just the preponderance of evidence would say seven to nine hours sleep is what you need to do in order to stay healthy and keep your immune system intact. For the average person, I mean, obviously there's always exceptions to that rule, but that's the average person. Um, but with sad, you're not getting restful sleep. Right. You just have to remember your brain isn't resting the way it's supposed to, and you get this hangover effect of melatonin, and, and you end up feeling down and fatigued because you're losing your neurochemical balance in your brain. But, I, yeah, without a doubt, I mean, the, I mean, 50% of Americans will have trouble sleeping this year. And that's kind you of know? like... And then uh, 20% uh, of Americans will be affected by sad, which... You know, it leaves a lot of people with sleep problems. Right. And, so and when you I wake see up a mattress and, and, commercial every 30 seconds when I'm looking at my cable. Yeah, and buying a mattress, don't get me started. You lay on it for eight minutes. Your wife says, that's the one I want. You take it home, and then, <laughs> they, and then you hate it. Um, exactly. Right? That's exactly it. Yeah, it's the same thing with a, with a, with a chair. It doesn't, it, you know, you're buying a new office chair. It's the same kind of same a thing. Same thing with shoes. Oh, shoes too. Absolutely. Uh, what about brain fog? How does that enter into all this? Well, I mean, you could have brain fog for a lot of reasons. One would be if your cortisol levels are high. So if your cortisol levels are high, which we're finding out a lot of people are walking around with borderline high cortisol, thinking they're chasing a white tiger when, in fact, they're just upset about, you know, a posting that a friend made on Facebook. Right? right? I mean, you know, people are walking around unnecessarily jacked up on stress, traffic, financial worries, work, you, you name it. I mean, it, it's legitimate. 
It's just that we've lost some of our coping skills. We have a primitive nervous system in a modern body. Huh. So, you know, the white, so we trigger the white tiger response. And when your cortisol levels go up, Jim, we're, that can lead to what I call, do you feel like you're pushing a thought? You're going to come system. back in a couple of weeks, okay? We got more to sure. talk about. All right, good deal. Um, I'm going to give you a call next week. We'll talk. Uh, coming up next, we're going to have hour two, and we're going to talk about a new travel pillow that has scientific evidence to show that it, it really makes the ride in the back of the plane comfortable. I'm Mark Allen. Uh, Join us at LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com. More coming up around the corner.